So apple pie pizza, what are your thoughts? After this video, they're gonna be, yes, Julie, you are a genius, I think. I mean, I don't know. It's an awesome recipe, sweet pizza. I was a little bit like And then I got eating it and I was like, damn, why is this not in my life all the time? Cause I love apple pie and I love pizza. Simple math. You always start out a pizza dough by blooming your yeast. So that's what we're gonna get doing right now. I have got a little bit of brown sugar here that I'm gonna pour into some warm water, just lukewarm, and dissolve that really quick. Then I like to sprinkle my yeast over top. Let's set that aside. Over here, I have got a bowl of flour. I just wanna add a pinch of salt to it. I'm also gonna add a few glugs of olive oil. Now that our yeast is bloomed, I wanna add it in and then pour the remaining warm water in this bowl so we make sure we get all of it and pour that in as well. Now, go in with your hands. Get mixing. Once the dough starts to come together, I'm gonna pour it onto a floured surface and just knead it for about five minutes. I want it to be really elastic and smooth. Beautiful, just like a little cute little baby's bum. Stop. All right, we're gonna put it in an oiled bowl and now this is gonna rise for an hour in a warm, draft-free place. The dough is all risen, it looks amazing. I'm gonna put that to the side and let's make the apple pie portion. I've got a couple Granny Smith apples that I just want to slice up thinly. I'm gonna get rid of the seeds and core, obviously. Place those in a bowl. To that, I wanna add the juice of one lemon and squeeze that all in. Beautiful. I have got a little bit of cinnamon here, a little bit of brown sugar, and then I have got these score bits. Now they're just kind of caramel little nuggets of glory. So I'll go in with these. And I just wanna give that all a mix. Beautiful. So I'm gonna set that aside now. Let's roll out our dough. Onto a floured surface, I just wanna pour it out and give it a roll. This could potentially make two smaller apple pie pizzas. It's really your call on the size. So at this point, what I like to do is get it on my pizza paddle or you can put it on a baking sheet with a little bit of cornmeal underneath and that'll stop it from sticking. Transfer over. And now let's top it. Get your apples all on there. I like to fan them out in kind of a pretty fashion. I think that looks nice. The final step is we just wanna make sure that crust brown. So I've got a little bit of melted butter and a brush. Brush that all around. I've got my oven preheating at 450 and now this is just gonna bake till it's nice and golden around the outside. In all of her glory, it's an apple pie pizza like you've never had before. Mm. Oh, yep. You wanna talk about crispy bottoms? You wanna talk about crunch factor? Caramel? Ooh, this, this, good job, Julie. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this recipe, I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you enjoyed me, and I will see you next time. Bye.